Grant. Cleared only as far as Lasley. It's Grant again. Lewis Lang! What a header that was! A bullet from Lang! And Motherwell are in front. Three minutes played in the second half. Grant's ball in was perfect. And Lang attacked it. Tanzi's shot is blocked by Lasley. Now Shinny. A ferry! He's scored this time. It's a debut goal for the Nigerian. And Inverness celebrate the equaliser for Eddie Oferi. Grant's corner. Pearson looked to get the header. Instead, it comes out to the edge of the box for Ainsworth. Looking for a shooting opportunity. And Fur Park goes into raptures as Lionel Ainsworth has scored with six minutes to go, deflected off Draper. Woods. Fraser. To Quinn. Using the option of the goalkeeper. Boyce beaten by Conrad. Dundee have really struggled to hold on to possession all afternoon. This is Woods, Boyce, great ball through. Gardine could be in here, big chance for Ross County. And it's Jamie Record, the most unlikely of goal scorers for Ross County. It's his first for the club. In fact, it's his first in senior football. Gardine providing it, and it was just a tap in for Record. And Ross County's revival looks to continue. Well, the ball through was perfect. Gardine picked out record. Ross County lead. Higginbotham up the line to O'Donnell. Now Taylor. Oh, lovely ball from Lyle Taylor. It's Stephen O'Donnell. It's a brilliant goal from Partick Thistle who take the lead after 34 minutes. And it's Stephen O'Donnell with his third of the season. Look at the assist from Lyle Taylor. The step over, and then the bending effort past Ciersniak. Higginbotham slips, but it goes into the back of the net. An own goal of Ryan McGowan. Kelly. Sadlier. Oh, he's done well here, the man on loan from West Ham. Still going. And opens it up for Dayton, who heads to the byline. Dayton's done well. Thompson! It could be a massive goal for St Mirren. Stephen Thompson's first of the season, set up by Dayton. Thompson from five yards out. Armstrong, the substitute, who came on for Chris Commons. And it is Armstrong's corner. There's Jason Denier! And the Belgian has the opener. Denier does it again. Open the scoring when the teams met here in September. And he is at it again. A fine header from just four yards out. Scott Brown unable to dispose of Lee Griffiths in front of him. It's a great piece of work done by the striker. You can't really argue that he was fouling the goalkeeper, just standing his ground, and Denier is the man with the header. Matthews on the loose pass from McGinn. Mackay Stephen, a rare chance to have a run. Johansson goes down, it's a penalty kick. John Beaton awards the penalty against Mark Reynolds. He just dangled a leg out there. And Stefan Johansson took the contact. Down he went. And Griffiths has the opportunity for number two. Calmly done by Lee Griffiths. His ninth of the season. Five in his last six domestically. And that could be the goal. That secures the points for Celtic. 
Brown went to his left. Griffiths went the other way. 2-0. Matthews now. Mackay Stephen driving at the defence and Mackay Stephen nets number three. His first goal for the club at Celtic Park. And that will finish Aberdeen off. And many will feel that that might be the goal that ends Aberdeen's title challenge. Mackay Stephen, so direct. Maybe not the cleanest strike, but that doesn't matter. It bobbled its way. Beats Scott Brown. In off the post. Celtic lead 3 0. Aberdeen hadn't lost in the league since the last time they played Celtic back at the beginning of November. But it has been clinical from the champions, and it's Johansson for number four. Aberdeen are being demolished by Celtic. Matthews with a simple cutback, and there's Johansson who takes his tally to the season into double figures. He's scored in each of the last five domestically for Celtic and is enjoying a quite brilliant season. And that puts the gloss on a very impressive victory for Celtic.